About seven years ago is when I made the decision to become an electrician. And let me tell you, it has been one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Whether or not you've been thinking about pursuing this career for a while now, or whether this is the first time that you've ever even entertained the idea of becoming an electrician, I promise you that this is gonna be well worth a few minutes out of your day, as this may just end up being one of the best decisions that you've ever made in your life too. The first reason why you should consider becoming an electrician in 2024 is because electricians make a fantastic living. Now, there are a lot of different factors that go into determining exactly how much money you can make as an electrician, such as what type of license you get, where you live, whether you're union or non-union, what company you work for, what your level of experience is, and so on. So here in the Portland, Oregon area with IBEW Local 48, journeyman electricians, which is somebody who has gone through their apprenticeship and received their license, makes $60.50 per hour, which comes out to be just over $125,000 Per year. Now let me reiterate, this isn't what every electrician makes. Depending on some of the factors that I mentioned before, you may end up making less or more. It just really depends. But I just wanted to use what we make here at IBEW Local 48 as a real world example for this video. Now me as a foreman, I'm actually making $66.55 per hour, which comes out to be over $138,000 per year. And I think it's worth mentioning that all of these wages don't include working any overtime, which as an electrician, overtime is something that is usually pretty available if you want to take it. And if I were to include that, these annual wages would greatly increase. Now, I know that some of you in the comments will mention how we as union electricians need to pay union dues, which is true, but even including those union dues, journeyman electricians at Local 48 still make over $120,000 per year. The second reason why you should consider becoming an electrician in 2024 is because of how great the benefits typically are. Now again, there are lots of different factors that will play a role in determining exactly how great your benefits will be as an electrician, but generally speaking, if you become an electrician with the union, you're going to have fantastic benefits. Here at IBW Local 48, we actually have what's called a benefits package, which means that on top of our wages, we make a specific dollar amount every hour that our employer pays towards our benefits. So on top of the $60.50 that journeyman electricians here make every hour, we make an additional $29.59 every single hour that goes towards our benefits. No, your ears are not deceiving you. You did hear that correctly. On top of our hourly wages, we do make an additional $29.59 every single hour that goes towards our benefits. Here at Local 48, that money goes towards all sorts of different types of things. I'm not gonna mention them all in this video, that's a topic for a separate video, but just to quickly list off some, that goes towards things like medical, vision, dental, our healthcare savings account, multiple different pensions that we have, and we do have some great pensions here at Local 48. It goes towards things like something that we call a flex plan, which can be used for things like paying our children's private school, uh, we have a wage replacement account that we can use if we ever get laid off. We can take money out of that to supplement our income. And it also goes towards some other really great benefits. Now, before I became an electrician, knowing how awesome these benefits were was actually one of the main driving factors that led me to take up this career as an electrician as taking care of my family is one of my absolute top priorities. In my previous job as a store manager for AT&T, I had to pay out of pocket for all these things. So that additional $29.59 an hour, which by the way, comes out to be just under $62,000 per year, is a huge raise in and of itself. So if you add all of this up, our wages plus our benefits package, and if you subtract our union dues, journeyman electricians with Local 48 are making just over $181,000 per year. The third reason why you should consider becoming an electrician in 2024 is because of the way that somebody becomes an electrician. You won't need to spend tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars going to a four-year college, racking up student debt, and getting a degree in a profession that you may or may not even end up using. Because to become an electrician, you don't need a college degree. The way that you become an electrician is by going through what's called an apprenticeship program which is an earn while you learn program that consists of both in classroom learning and on the job training. Apprenticeships are generally very inexpensive 
especially when you compare them to going to college. And in a lot of cases, they're completely free. Here at IBW Local 48, where I went through my apprenticeship program, the apprenticeship program is actually completely free, which includes all of your schooling, all of your books, and even all of your hand tools which means that if you wanna become an apprentice, you don't need to go and spend a bunch of money on hand tools that you don't already have just to become an apprentice. Local 48 gives all of their apprentices all of the hand tools that they're gonna need for free and they're yours to keep. So let me just make this clear. While somebody else is working a part-time job somewhere else that isn't even in the same field as the degree that they've spent tens or maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars to get, you could be going through a four to five year electrician apprenticeship program that in many cases is completely free, getting an incredible education where every single thing that you learn directly applies to your job and making a fantastic living as an electrician while you learn on the job as an electrician. I don't know about you, but I don't know of many other careers that offer such a great living without having to go into debt with an absurd amount of student loans. Many IBEW locals all across the US offer these free apprenticeship programs. And so if this is something that interests you, it might be well worth your time to call your local union's training center and find out whether or not this is something that they offer. Now the fourth reason why you should consider becoming an electrician, and this may be kind of an obvious one, is because this is a career is not just another job. You guys, if you are planning ahead for your future, and if you currently have or are thinking about starting a family someday, you're gonna wanna have good financial security. And so you're gonna really wanna be thinking about starting a career. This is something that most people do for the rest of their lives once they start. And whether you're thinking about becoming an electrician right out of high school, or whether you're thinking about making a career change later in life, this is a very respectable, long-term career that will allow you to provide and take care of a family. I touched a little bit on this earlier, but the sooner you get into this career, the better your pension is gonna be, and the more financially set you're gonna be when you want to retire someday. The fifth reason why you should consider becoming an electrician, and I think that this one is particularly relevant to 2024, is because of how many other employees in other industries are at risk of ultimately losing their jobs to AI. Now look, I'm not saying that every other job is at risk of being taken over by AI and that electricians are completely safe. But what I am saying is that it is gonna be a heck of a lot harder to replace blue collar skilled labor with AI than it will be to replace things like people working in retail and a lot of other white collar jobs. It feels weird to even be talking about this in a video, but I think that if you wanna really be planning for your future with the current rate of growth of technology, this is something that is really worth considering. Now, I'm not so completely naive as to think that at least parts of our jobs as electricians won't be taken over by technology or AI someday. I mean, I've already seen machines that are capable of bending conduit much better than any other electrician that I've ever known ever could. But as electricians, we have a lot of things that we need to know. There's a lot of weird situations that we work in, a lot of tight spaces that we work in, a lot of just weird environments that we work in. And for a lot of other reasons, I think that electricians and other blue collar skilled labor will be some of the last to be replaced. And further, while I'm sure that new technologies will come out that will eventually replace our current systems and current ways of doing things, they're still gonna need electricians to replace and install these new systems. Now just real quick, I wanna ask that if you are enjoying this video and you are getting some valuable information out of it, go ahead and just smash the like button to let the YouTube algorithm know to promote this video to more people, which will ultimately help my channel to grow and be put in front of more people. The sixth reason why you should consider becoming an electrician in 2024 is because of how many people are retiring from the trade versus how many people are getting into the trade. In order to meet future demands, it's said that we're going to need to have over 250,000 new electricians join the trade over the next decade. Otherwise, we're gonna start seeing some serious multi-day power outages and all sorts of other serious problems all across the US. In other words, we're not replacing the old electricians with enough new electricians, which means that electricians are about to be in very very high demand. Economics 101 tells us that a low supply and a high demand is going to mean some very high wages for electricians in the future, possibly even much higher than we could ever imagine right now. 
And that also means that anybody that's in this trade is going to have some very good job security. I mean, who knows? Maybe someday we'll be at a point where white collar jobs like doctors and surgeons will end up being replaced by AI and electricians and other skilled trades will end up being the top wage earners. I'm not necessarily saying that I expect that to happen, but my advice to you, if this is a trade that you are interested in pursuing, is to get in now and secure yourself a piece of that pie. The seventh reason why you should consider becoming an electrician in 2024 is because in doing so, you are going to be learning a very valuable set of skills. My wife and I ended up buying our first house last year and I can't tell you how much money I've already saved by doing my own electrical work versus paying another electrician to do it for me. Careers where you learn a particular set of skills like this are incredibly valuable and can create a lot of job security. Because if anything were to ever happen with your current situation or with your current employer, you are still going to have a set of skills that is very valuable and can make you money for the rest of your life. The eighth reason why you should consider becoming an electrician in 2024 is because it is a very enjoyable career. And that's for a lot of different reasons. There are so many things to see and so many things to do in this trade that it seldomly gets boring. As far as things to see go, you could be working on things like theme parks, at a zoo like my brother did for a while, at a hospital like I'm currently working at right now, stadiums, data centers, and so on. The constant change in environment keeps things interesting and exciting, and you're always learning new things as you're working in new situations. Even just working in a hospital, I've been a part of some really cool projects, which some of those projects include working on a brain lab, building a brand new ICU, and right now I'm actually a foreman that is currently overseeing a two and a half year emergency department remodel. Now, as far as things to do go, really the sky is the limit. I mean, there are a million different things that you can specialize in as an electrician and just so many different directions that you can go in this trade. If you wanna be programming PLCs and doing things like controls and factories, there's a need for that. If you wanna be doing less physically demanding work and you wanna be doing more low voltage stuff like fire alarm systems, there's a need for that. If you wanna work in a more intense industrial setting, there's a need for that. If you enjoy troubleshooting things and you want to be a service electrician where you can see multiple different jobs in the same day, there is a need for that too. The point is that in being an electrician, you're gonna eventually get the opportunity to work on the specific things that really interest you. And you're gonna to get to see some really cool things along the way. If it isn't obvious, I absolutely love this career and I love the fact that there's always new things to see and do. And that no matter how many years, how much time I put into this trade, I'm never going to see all of the things that there are to see and do everything that there is to do. There's also a certain satisfaction that you get as an electrician when you stop working at the end of the day and you get to physically see in front of you all of the hard work that you have accomplished where in my last job at the end of the day, I would just see a bunch of numbers. In this, at the end of the day, I get to turn things on that I either built or fixed and potentially see them work for the first time. And I don't care how long I've been an electrician, it is still always magic whenever I see lights turn on for the first time. The ninth reason why you should consider becoming an electrician in 2024 is because in doing so, you are going to be providing a great service to society. Look, at the end of the day, you're going to be doing this for you and for your family. But it is really nice to know that by simply doing my job, I am providing a service that is helping a lot of people and is quite literally helping build America. It's a heck of a lot better than working a sales job where at the end of the day, I would just see numbers on a screen that would reflect my ability to convince people to buy things that they may or may not have even really needed. Now the 10th and final reason why you should consider becoming an electrician in 2024, and I did touch on this a little bit earlier, is because it is a very respectable career, especially within the trades. And this isn't to knock on any other trades in any way because they are all very important and filled with amazing people, but within the trades particularly, being an electrician is a pretty freaking awesome, respectable trade. In a lot of ways, while yes, we are still getting down and dirty, it's almost more of a profession. I know that my wife really loved telling people that I was an electrician when I first got into the trade and I know that she still does to this day. And it's something that I'm also personally very proud of. And it's always a great feeling when I see people's reactions after I tell them that I'm an electrician. It's just really nice to have a career that you're proud of, you know? 
And if by the end of this, I have convinced you to become an electrician, and if this is a career that you are now interested in pursuing, then congratulations, you are in the right place as my channel, Mad Electrician, is full of videos that will help make your dreams of becoming an electrician a reality. And if you don't already know, I also have a website, Mad Electrician, that is full of great information and resources if this is a trade that you want to get into. So definitely check that out and make sure that you subscribe to my newsletter so that way you can stay up to date with all things Mad. And of course, make sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube if you want to see more content like this from me in the future. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Thank you.